disgusting today. Oh, shut up. You're beautiful. What, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to iSurvivor. We are here with the one, the only, Julia Brown. She is part of the Amatista tribe, who actually was the epicenter of the end, end episode, her tribal, tribal council. She voted out Gigi, and she is back to confess her thoughts for episode two. Julia, what is going on? I have questions for you, but like, just what's on your mind? What's been going on this episode? Yeah, confess. Orgs. Um, my tribe's been pretty quiet. Um, honestly, there's like not a ton to talk about just because if we end up, okay, wait, back it up. Last round, I made a trio chat with Sam and John and myself. And so that's like a nice core to have, especially now that we are the majority of the tribe. Um, so in the event that like we do have to go back to tribal and God forbid that anyone uses powers that fucks me up because that would really be a horrible ending to the story. Um, I feel like I feel relatively comfortable, knock on wood. Um, going into that, I would say if we went back to tribal, it'd probably be Sheed just because I feel like he gives us the least. He's doing the absolute minimum with at least with me so that's who I would go for um but yeah I mean pretty quiet everyone's chill though uh obviously I feel the best with Sam and John and uh she and I partnered up for the challenge I was in a horrible mood that night uh, yeah how did that go being like he's the one who gives you the least you just said like if y'all did lose like he could potentially be the one because it's between him or Jess if your alliance of three is solid and both the same. Um, how is it partnering up with him in a communication game in which there's already been a severe lack of communicating? Yeah, not good. <laughs> um, actually, Sam got all of our drawings right, though, which was shocking. But I don't know. For me, it was just frustrating. Um I mean, challenges like that, first of all, are always frustrating for me. Um, I'm not great at communication, stuff like that, uh, whether I'm like drawing or like doing the talking. So, I mean, I think that both of us just struggled with it a little bit. Um, communication wasn't <laughs> wasn't 100%. Um, I mean, it is what it is. It's over. I think that we did pretty well. Like, uh, honestly, I'd be shocked if we go back to tribal with a score. I think Sam said he got eight out of 10 so I would I mean I'd be shocked if we went to tribal with that score how do you think your tribe has especially with this score do you think your tribe is going to be able to stack up against um the other ones because let's face it the last challenge there it was like not a blowout but Y'all, even if Gigi did compete, she needed to get every single one of them correctly and then you had a bank on a tiebreaker so how do you think your tribe, given their performance in this challenge, will stack up against the others? Um, I mean, I'm trying to think of what last challenge was. Why can't I remember? What was last challenge? Oh, answer, answering questions. Listen, I feel like this most recent challenge we did is like a very different, like it's very, very different from the first challenge. Like I feel like it requires very different like skills. I feel like it's asking like very different things uh, of the players. And so I think in that regard, like, yeah, it was a little bit of a blowout, but going into this round, I feel like the challenge was kind of just like a fresh start because it was so like different from the first challenge. Um, so, I mean, yeah, uh, the other tribes fucked us up last round. I still feel like Gigi probably didn't submit, which was a bummer. Uh, but like, even if she did and she got like two, um, I mean, that would be much less of like a blowout than, or zero. Looking at the other tribes, I'm going to send you an image so you can see it if you don't have it readily available. Um, I want to use an update. Copy image. All right, I'm going to send this into your uh, confessional and I'm going to ask questions based off of the players and stuff. It's loading. 
Okay. So I want you to look at the other tribes and whether you know people or not, or it's just like a gut feeling, who are you most concerned about on the other tribes? Like who do you feel is going to be a threat in this game? And if come a tribe swap, like fingers crossed, they're not there or already voted out, but like who maybe like one on each tribe that you feel is going to be dominant here in Milan and why? Uh, I feel like Rachel Roth and Marcelo, just because I feel like they make a good power duo. Uh, Maddie Oten, I think, is stellar. Uh, Bill, I think Bill is going to be really, really likable. Like, I think that Bill's social game is probably going to be really threatening this season. Uh, definitely Sam, and I think I touched on this a little bit last time, Sam Rebe. Um, I think once it gets down to, like, a merge point, crossing my fingers, I make it that far. Uh, I think that's when I need to start thinking about turning on him so he can't do it to me first. Uh, Sam D is amazing, so definitely her. And I don't know, I feel like Emily would either be like a huge threat or a really good like number. Like I, I really want to get her like, I really want to get, like, in with her. I want her on my side. So, uh, like, I feel like she's someone who's probably going to have a lot of sway with people, uh, especially as numbers get smaller and smaller. So, oh, also Rachel and Brandon. Also Brandon and myself. How are you going to mitigate? Because, um, obviously, I envision you going deep into this game, right, where you will eventually meet up with some of these people. How are you going to mitigate? Your goal, your aim, which is to last as long as possible and become the 38th soul survivor. How are you going to mitigate your relationships and friendships, but also keep at the front of your mind that like you want to be the winner, you want the bragging rights, you want the glory? <laughs> it's true. Um, I mean, hold my friends close and my enemies closer. I think that I need to be really proactive about cutting people, especially as they, as their threat level increases. Um, so like once I get to merge, I think the main thing I'm manifesting, I get to merge. The first thing I'm going to be doing is trying to find people to lock in with, uh, and Brandon's definitely one of them. And then as time goes on, like, I'm definitely going to start turning towards like, who are the threats and who can I cut and who should I cut? and when, and like, how can I make that possible? So even if that means like turning on the people that I locked in with or that I want to lock in with, um, gotta be cutthroat. I have to cut people before they cut me. So that's what I'm gonna I, do. Like I've seen you play games, like I've seen you in cast. The only game that I've actually like really followed, but even so, like, I don't know everything that went on in the sentence, right? But that was the game that I've seen you do the best at. So. Are you that cutthroat player that like, I love you, Rachel, we get along in this game, you're fantastic, but like you have a winner's story, so you need to go. Like, can you make those strong moves and those, those, those seemingly cutthroat moves against people that you really care for? It's what I've done in the past, unfortunately. Um, I like, Ascendance was a weird one just because I really don't know what my strategy was going into that. Um, and then it just so happened that like, that's how everything panned out. And I found myself in between like people and groups that I was like really close to and that I really loved. And then like, I found myself having to make those decisions of like, who should I cut and who makes the most sense to cut. Um, so that's kind of like that in Ascendance, honestly, was kind of by chance. Um, but in other games, like that's definitely been intentional on my behalf. And like, I'd say that that's probably my approach going into this game as well. You're so well spoken. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> or, or, yeah, man. I like she's well spoken, and you're like, oh, orgs. So um, so let's say your tribe wins, safe. You don't have to worry. Where does where's your head at in terms of the trajectory, 
you need to go in episode three? Is it maintaining the relationships with John and uh, Sam? So you you uh, keep that majority going. Like, what is an aim? Whether you're doing it now and you want to remain consistent, but like, what's a what's a goal that you want to get out of the end of this episode, leading into episode three and beyond? I mean, my main goal, I'd say, assuming we don't go to tribal, obviously if we do, it's to stay, but assuming we don't go to tribal, I think my main goal for this round is just like solidifying the trio I have right now. Uh, I know John was saying before we made it that he is a player who likes to like lock in early and then that's who he stays loyal to. I think I said last time, I don't know if I trust that yet, but I'm going to like force myself to trust that with with caution uh for now and really try to lock in with him i feel like and it's super early uh so i don't know if i should be saying this and it's probably going to come bite me in the ass but i feel like he's not going to be the most like risky and in your face player and so in that regard like i really want him uh on my side i feel like he'd be hopefully a really loyal ally and therefore like a good number um especially if he is telling the truth about wanting to stay with the people that he locked in with early. Uh, I don't know. That answer your question. <laughs> no, it totally did. Totally did. <laughs> Just reinforcing that bond. Um, Rachel, Hannah, do any of y'all have any trying questions that you would like to ask Julia that you've been meaning to ask her at all? Well, you stole my question about the pregame relationships. <laughs> <laughs> But I am going to ask you, Julia, because I want to pry your brain and I want to be part of this. Um, the first of all, with Gigi was kind of, quote unquote, an easy one, maybe because she didn't participate in the challenge. But if you go to tribal this time, do you think like those 20 minutes before is going to be a chaotic mess? Or do you think it's going to be like another easy vote slash how much how many more tribals do you think it will be a considered a maybe easy vote? I don't know if I make any sense. I'm mentally ill. Same. Um, I think this round would be easy. I think if it were chaotic, it would only be because of Jess. But like in reality, she's only one person against three. So even if we don't have her. And then, I mean, if we go again after, I hope it wouldn't be chaotic. Like Jess would go. And then after that, it'd be a shit show. Slay. That's all I have for you right now. Thank you, Rachel. Hannah, did you have anything that you wanted to ask from Seth? I'm all right. Okay. Um, Julia, it's been a pleasure. Can't wait to wa continue watching you eating and slaying and getting yourself into future majorities and good positions. Um, we may or may not see you tonight at Tribal Council. If y'all lose, we'll, I'll see you there. But if y'all win, I will be on standby watching the celebration. Mm -hmm.